Hey guys, it's Max. How's everyone doing? God damn it. I just recorded a whole 30 minute episode and I would, the screen wasn't being shared. All right, all right, that's fine though. But I mean, I wanted you guys to have enough time to get these trades in. These are some good trades. Um, man, it was a good episode. Uh, All right. Well, we just went over the kind of the philosophy of the loaded dice trade, which is just a risk reversal, which which is a trade that's been around for a while. We've stolen it off Jay recently. He's been doing it in Alti. We've adopted it and doing it ourselves. OK, my prediction is Jay will do it in Target today. He will have a risk reversal on in Target or maybe Walmart. Um, and I would predict I predict he's out of Disney today. I predict he closes Disney out and opens Target up. Just my prediction. So I'll, let's try to, I'm going to try to predict, well, I'm going to do what I would do if I was Jay. I think this is the way to do it. This is a three-legged loaded dice. He does four-leg loaded dice. His way is good too. Probably better than mine. I don't know. I like the totally unlimited upside, but it's just a variation on his. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're selling put spreads three times. We sold the one, we're short the 142 puts, but we're long the 136 as a hedge. We did that for a credit. If we didn't have this, think of it as two separate trades. We did it for a credit of $330 for these three options. So we earned that the second we the second we do that, the second we hit send on our phone. But they also hold about $1,470 out of our account until Friday to see what happens. Well, as long as the market doesn't drop more than... 9.5%, you're fine. Now, if the market drops more than that, you're going to have a loss. Um, but so this is, but this is a bullish bet and the market can go up as it can go up a million percent. It doesn't matter how much, how far goes up or down as long as it's not more than 9%, but 9% is a pretty long way. So, but it, this is an earning stock, so it can have it. So all a risk reversal does is it puts another trade on top of it. In this case, this, we're just using a single call Okay, so now instead of $330, we're spending about half of that on this call option. We spent $180 on the call option. What that does is that gives us profit above the call option strike, which is $172.50. So if we should get an outlier move, like if this should open at $190 in the morning or something, well, this option spreads worth to about $2,000. Okay, and we still got our, we still received our income. We didn't make $330, we only made $150. But I mean, how much income does a guy need on $1,600 risk? I mean, you know, it's it's one week. So 10% in one week is, is pretty good also. Nine or 10% will work. I mean, we'd obviously like as much as possible, but but when we when we make this compromise, we can still make a gigantic income and still be, and still be uh, along for the ride whenever there's an outlier, you know, earnings beat, which happens sometimes. So I guarantee you, Jay will put on something like this. He'll probably have on, um, he will have on, I, I called it Jay style. He does load a dice a little different way. He'll do, he'll have on two, two options over here on this side. Oh, that's why it's wrong. Hang on. I'm trying to predict what Jay will do. If he just smart up and just drop one, he could just drop. Uh, he just has to do one less over here on the bullish side, and then you can have unlimited upside. But um, let's see. I'm thinking that Jay does something like. It'll be something like this. I mean, that's. Yeah. It'll be something like that. All right. Save trade. Uh, override existing trade. Okay, so this is uh, back to editor. This is Jay. This is the way Jay. Does. He uses four legs to do risk reversal. But anyway, um, his way he has capped upside. My way there isn't. But I'm not so sure. Maybe his way isn't a little better because he he gets to his max upside a lot faster than I do. I never get to my max upside because it's not maxed. It can go as far as it wants. So I don't know. It's two different philosophies. I guess him and I'll have to hash that out in a few days. Anyway, so uh, he'll have on something like that. I'm going to share. Uh, I did it a bullish way. Now, the one thing neither Jay or I or anyone else knows is Target going to hit earnings. It's going to be a big outlier up or they're going to miss earnings and we're going to have a big outlier down. 
So we have a. Have the bearish version of, of the trade. Now on this one, you just have to sell. This is you just have to sell two call spreads to be able to afford one put. On the other one, we sold three put spreads to be able to afford one call. Well, because of the call skew in this stock, we can we can do it this way. Well, in any event, so what you're doing is this is a bearish bet on target earnings. And what you're really saying is, hey, target, this can't go up more than this goes higher than 166.34 target. Which is which is about six and a half percent from where it's at now. This is going to be a loser, okay. But if it doesn't do that, you know, if it kind of stays where it is, makes the income, and then if you have an outlier down move, you can make a couple grand real quick. If Target, you know, does a bad job or whatever. So um, this time I will save this one. Is uh, let's see, TJT loaded dice in the uh, let's see. I'll put this one uh, bearish. All right, so I'm a new override existing trade. Yeah. All right, I'm going to post both of those. Um, let's go through here and look at some other risk reversals and some other trades I've shown you about in in previous shows. So on Friday's show, we looked at a at a way to play the dip um, in the spy date created acted J style TJT. Yeah, loaded dice bullish trade on the spy. So the scenario was that the the spy pulled back into the uh, the gap created by the Trump uh, victory, and you know, and I was going to say, well, this was supported, and the bulls will probably buy, and it should shoot prices bullishly out of the gap. So how can we play? And this was Friday. So how can we play? What's a you know a safe way to make a bullish bet on the spy? Well, you could do it this way, and it doesn't matter if, the, if you're right or not. Because the spike could even go down as long as it doesn't go down too much. If you would have done this trade, and we had some content on, on it on Friday, so let's look at this. We'll see how it's doing. But on Friday, all right. On Friday, the spy. was trading around 585. Okay. So, and at that time, we, this line right here represents how far the, the, the spy can pull back before we lose money. This is the break even, and this is Friday on the chart. So, but he, we just need this line, you know, to zig and zag all at once, but not to, if it does zag under there to zag back above by Friday. So you can see these, these have a huge advantage in your favor because that that's a pretty big buffer not to mention if it happens to do what we think and if it happens to go up you know let's say it goes to 605 and that wouldn't be the craziest thing how it's been how it's been acting lately um let's say it goes to 605 well at 605 this trade's an 1100 dollars winner you know and not to and not to mention you've already made 200 off it so at 605 you're going to make another 900 off the price of the options going up plus the 200 you have in your pocket, you know, it's an $1,100 winner. If you cash out at 605, you, you have 1100 extra dollars. So that, that uh, would be a nice job. It's a decent way to play a bullish opinion. Also from 585, where it was at when we, when we put the trade on the buffer was uh, let's see, 0. 0.5 to 1.8. It was about a 1.3% buffer. So you have about a 1.3% head chance on the market. That's how far it can drop 1.3% before you lose money. So that's pretty powerful in my opinion. Okay. So I've also, let's see what else I showed you guys how to do this in Disney. The other day we copied a J trade and uh, it's still open because Jay did it for this week. So we copied them and did one for this week also. Well, this is, this is how this trade is supposed to work. This is so textbook. The big flat spot is where we make an income. It had a huge buffer. This is Disney, four-leg risk reversal. We're selling puts for a little bit more than we buy calls for. The difference is 207, which is our income. Easiest trade in the world, right? Well, if Disney does happen to go up, though, we're along for the ride. Well, guess what? It's happening to go up, and we're along for the ride. And not only that, on this trade I gave you guys, we aren't even capped out to 125. So if a person was bullish on Disney, 
they, I mean, they could just hang on to this. Now, of course, there'd be a risk that it could go back down here into the red, but that would, that would be a total outlier that if it's for a, you know, 14% drop or whatever, but a lot of people might just stick with the trend and, and, uh, and play it and try and try to play Disney into the one twenties or one thirties. And you could turn this little, this little $207 income trade into a freaking you know, $3,000 winner. I mean, that that's what, that's how these loaded dice trades are so powerful. And I learned this from watching Jay and I will learn a lot more from watching him and talking to him. Um, but, uh, I mean, like I say, we can adopt this to, to, we can play at home. We can play along at home and it's fun. Uh, all right. So let's see what else we have. Um, another, this is a trade I did on the day of the election. Even after it was that morning after, after it gapped up because, and that's why I did that. This kind of trade is perfect. Cause even though I bought after the big gap up, this has a huge buffer. So my buffer was behind the gap. So if the gap's real, this, this would be a decent way to play it. So this is an IWM, which is Russell for the end of the year. This is also a decent way to play Santa Claus rally. Doesn't expire for a quarter till January 17th, right around the time of the inauguration. It ties up about $4,000, but it brings in almost $500, brings in about 10%, you know, right off the get go. But then as you guys could see, if there's any kind of Santa Claus rally at all, this could be a multiple thousand dollar, multiple thousand dollar winner. And I think we, I don't know if we have content about that as well. Um, but anyway, we're going to keep having content on risk reversals. It's not all just about risk reversals either. There's also another trade out there that's Hedger's Delight called a backspread. And then you can also use backspreads and risk reversals together. And then you can use other trades together. We've just scratched the surface on, on what you can do. And not to mention that there's all kinds of trades that already exist, but that you can, that you can put together in a ratio. You can do like a three part calendar and a two part uh, backspread. You'll see, I have, I have tons more content to show you guys. You guys won't even be able to believe it. I think this stuff is so much fun. I appreciate you guys being here. I hope you have a good day. I'm going to post these links in case anyone wants to follow along with this trade at home. Let's see what the spy is doing. It's hanging in there. It's kind of grinding since lunch. It rolled over at lunch and it, it's, it's grinding. All right, guys, that's it for now. I'll post these trades. You have a great what's left of your afternoon. All right, see you.